This is Nicole. A, point it down I have, a little bit. I have heard about the glare. Yeah. this comic book for a long time. I never oh. thought in my life I'd actually get to see That's one. amazing. Isn't that cool? Bill, how do you feel today? Well. I could say that I feel like a million bucks. That's because on Tuesday, right here in the studio, we were in the presence of one million dollars worth of comic books. I'm America's Toy Scout, and I'm scouting the whole country for toys and treasures that are hiding people's attics and closets and basements in some cases. It's been my forte for 25 years now. He had with him the first ever Superman comic right there. That is worth $100,000. The one that Jerry is holding right there, Action Comics number one. The first time Superman was ever in a comic. That is worth $750,000. Three quarters of a million dollars. you guys holding this? Yeah, he was really cool about all that stuff. They call this collection the Quad Four, and nobody has all four. So I asked Joel how he got some of these amazing comics that are worth, well, more than anything I've ever held in my life. Actually, I got this one recently at the New York Comic Con. Wait, so, I was just, I was there. Yeah, actually. yeah. God of obesity. Oh, no. But it didn't end there. So I'm sure our viewers are aware of our producer, Jason Rosenberg. I did a story at his apartment yeah. in the past, and it's full of amazing sci-fi, comic, superhero memorabilia. The guy's a pure collector. His apartment is like a museum. It is, it's so much fun. So we thought, how about we take Joel to Jason's house? and have him appraise some things to see if Jason has anything uh, of value. It was the ultimate geek fest. G57D, which <laughs> land of the giants even. <laughs> yeah, so Jason set aside some of his favorite items on the table, one of the only places that there's actually space, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a Darth Vader mask. Copyright. On this one here, I would say you're probably looking right around the two to three hundred dollar range on this. Yeah. There was an amazing little Batmobile that Jason had since he was a kid. You know, if you push wow. this button underneath, the flames will shoot out, right? Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. Wait, that. what? Wait, can I just look right no, at it? Yeah. Yeah, look right at it. An R2D2 cookie jar from Star Wars. First thing I do when I appraise something is I run my fingers around the rim because mm -hmm. you put the lid back on and sure. you would chip maybe it. chip it and then put it a little too hard and this is not. So that's very, very tough to find in that condition. But the one thing that Joel really enjoyed the most was right on the right of the screen there. This fun bit, which is from when yes. I was a kid. Well, I was, I was a teenager when this came out. And it's the uh, transporter room playset from Star Trek The Next yeah. Generation. So basically, if you put something in the back of it, it uses smoke and real mirrors. So we know how it works at this point in our life. So you turn it a little bit, and the item will disappear. Joel, like, lost his mind. He's like, whoa! Whatever. I actually want to get that, because I think <laughs> for the Toy Scout, for, for the TV show, that, that would be something that we could definitely use. We could put yeah. something in there, or maybe me. So it's really cool. So Wait, where does it go once it disappears? It goes to another dimension, Sabil. <laughs> If you guys have anything you might think is valuable toy-wise or comic book-wise, anything from your past that you might be willing to pry out of your cold, dead hands, tell, tell our viewers a little bit about what's going on this weekend. Oh yeah, this weekend we're going to be actually in two places through Friday. We're at East Rutherford at the Fairfield Inn, and then we're going to be in Harrisburg at the uh, Hampton Inn for, uh, for uh, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday right? and Sunday, yes. What this says to me is passion, Bill. If I could find a man a tenth as passionate as these guys are about me, about these comic books, there's no way I'd still be single. This is why you should date the nerd in high school. Because then he wasn't cute, but now that he's walking around with a million dollars worth of comic books, now he's attractive. Cute. That's not even cool. Come on, Rohan. Reality.